In the movie, Morton catches two good fish on a heptagenia parachute fly, once again tied using the exact same techniques used in the BWO done. Here is a completely different way of tying a mayfly done. Imitations of the heptagenids are important additions to the fly box. Here is the characteristic yellow heptagenia sulfurea just after its transformation from dun to spinner. This imitation is the brownish heptagenia fuchsogrisia. When the tail and body have been completed, thread a thin piece of foam over the hook eye for the thorax of the fly. To hold the foam out of the way, pierce it on the hook point. Tie in a strand of synthetic yarn for the wing. Lightly stack a small bunch of deer hair and place them in a dubbing loop using a clamp. Spin the loop, creating a dry fly hackle. Take the tying thread through the hackle to a position just in front of the wing. Tie off the dubbing loop and pull the foam forwards beneath the hackle and pierce it with a needle. Fold back the foam over the hackle and tie down in front of the wing, effectively sandwiching the hackle between the foam. Cut the forward piece of foam close to the wing and leave a little more foam behind the wing. The more foam you leave behind the wing, the higher the wing will stand. Morton leaves just about the maximum amount here. This is a simple, durable and very realistic mayfly imitation.